hello wordpress people so in this video we are going to talk about how to create a custom endpoint so in my previous video i showed you what the rest api wordpress wordpress provides so if you are new to this video i would suggest to watch my rest api playlist from the beginning otherwise if you know what you are doing then just keep watching this video playlist link is into the description section before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so wordpress has its own rest api by default but you can create your own rest api as well so for example you create a create a plugin and you have some feature so you can create the rest api of your own feature so that is what we are going to do in this video so what we are going to do is uh, this is my custom plugin and I have created this books post type over here so I'm gonna create a rest API or custom endpoint uh, which will bring or fetch the books which is added by ACF form so how do we consider the book is added by the ACF form so for that uh, i'm gonna go to post meta so i will go to post meta and i will search meta key called acf submit so the book which has this meta key ACF submit and meta value is one that is going to that is we consider as submitted by ACF form so in our case we should be getting this two post uh, book result in our API so um, let's jump into the code so first of all I'm gonna open my custom plugin so this is my WordPress repo plugins. This is my custom plugin and I will open includes. Includes custom api.php and I will get rid of sidebar. <coughs> so as I mentioned in the previous video that as we are doing the rest api work so everything should be added inside rest api init action so we are going to use that as in this video so what function register a new custom post type oh, sorry custom endpoint so it's simple this is the function register rest root that is the function which create a new endpoint for your custom plugin so i'm gonna use that function inside pwp rest init so yeah this is the callback so i'm gonna use that over here register rest root okay now let's understand the arguments one by one so the first argument is namespace so what is namespace it is kind of identifier of your uh, api so for example if i can show you the wordpress default namespace so i'll, I'll use localhost WP 
v2 posts so in this uh, this is the default wordpress endpoint this is i already explained in the previous video and this is the namespace and uh, version and this is the third argument which is a route so i am having an error yeah because we haven't finished this argument but yeah just consider this this is the namespace this is wordpress's default namespace so i'm gonna add my own namespace and generally namespace is used similar to your plugin slug so i'm gonna use my plugin slug which is my plugin here is my custom plugin and as this is the first version of my api so i'm gonna call it version one and then the second argument is route so i'm gonna call it bwp books so once we do this our endpoint will become something like this wp json then my plugin v1 and bwp books currently it won't do anything because we have to do more stuff in this so it is saying uh, no rest root found so now let's add the third argument which is an array so in that array we have to define method and callback so first let me add array method will be get so as we are getting the data from the database so method will be get if you are adding data to the database adding or updating then method should be post but but in this case i'm gonna use get method and i'm gonna call the callback bwp get books and then this callback i'm gonna add outside this so in this function let me return a simple text and now let's see what happens so as you can see our custom endpoint is ready and in this callback we will be getting our desired result you can do whatever you want to do as per your requirement i'm just going to show you the default wp query so before um, adding the query this function accepts one argument so which argument is that that is this class object wp rest request and this holds the whole object of our current request so let me show you that so i'm gonna change it to request and let me show you what we get in this request So I'm gonna send the data again. <clears throat> so it will have all the information about this current REST API or custom endpoint. So let's switch to raw. 
so as you can see we have this whole object of our current request it has all the information about the request here is the route and all and uh, we will be passing couple of arguments as well so how do we get that argument so first of all let me add argo1 key as a key and value as a one so if i send this <coughs> So we get this under the get argument or get array. If we were using post day post method, it will be getting inside this post section. So in this case, we will be passing. Sorry, we will be passing meta <coughs> meta key and meta key is equal to acf submit and meta value equal to one and this two parameter we will be using in our query so how to access the parameter we add in the postman so for that let's say meta key equal to we can use this object and method called get param And in that param, we have to pass this key. So we will get meta key inside this, and we will get meta value, <coughs> meta value inside this key. Okay. Now I'm gonna write WP query and let's get rid of this everything we don't need this our post type is book so I'm gonna change it to book and I'm gonna add meta query as that data is stored inside the meta uh, post meta so if you don't know the WP query then I have created the separate playlist for whole WP query understanding link is into the description section so the key will be meta gay this one and the uh, value will be meta value and in this query we get result in the posts object so if you don't understand just try to print out this and you will get result into the posts object now let's try to run this api again <clears throat> so we are getting some result let's switch to pretty so the id is two double six double one so let's confirm so this two double six double one and another id is 26602 which is correct so we are getting this two results in our api
so we get this books which is added through the ACF form now so now let's let's see what we get if we get empty results so I'm gonna change this value to something else and send the request so it is uh, setting the blank value but uh, now what I'm gonna do is let's say if empty of the query post then I'm gonna return WP send J JSON error and I will say no data found otherwise WP send JSON success now let me show you what happens when we use this function JSON success and JSON error so first let's see what happens when we get um, blank result so as you can see we are getting success false and the message is no data found and now let's try to get the correct result so as you can see we are getting success true and we are getting this data inside this data object so yeah this is how you can create your own endpoint and in the next video we will be learning more about how to return data in your custom endpoint so this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys